Hello guys, I'm Milovan Savic, player in Gimle Basket, number 31, coming from Montenegro, third season in Norway, so far so good. Pretty, I have to say, frustrating and boring. Kind of at the same time sad and mad because I am 100% confident that we would won both years and for, for athletes because of our competitive mindset it's always difficult just to practice without any goal that you are looking forward to in our case that, that's game and yeah like i said both sad and mad that we finish this way yeah. uh, it's disappointing because it'd be different if we got to the championship and lost then we knew you know we tried our best and couldn't do it but the fact that we just will never know these past two years especially this year that what would have happened in the playoffs i mean we were very confident that we'll make it to the finals and end up winning but like that we just never know it, it hurts. So det är ju inte var möjligt att samla med vinner regular season så uh, är det ju på mode pokal så har någon sitt så det är ju shit. To college the same year we were both freshmen um he was a, a little bit older but we were both freshmen and i think we just became friends from the jump be on the same team and then uh we were roommates for two years two years so uh -huh. and then we just been close ever since really <laughs> Especially now, when I when I look around Europe, where more and more countries are opening up gyms, and if, even if that's like only a few hundred, it feels amazing because we are playing it. Of course, we are playing it for ourselves, for joy and fun, but we are playing it for fan. Like it's always amazing thing to see like fan reaction on whatever you do on the court. I think this was my 16 season, 15 uh, professional, but even one year before I turned 18, I was playing senior level basketball. So a lot of years, a lot of games played. And I think I started because of my older brother, he was playing and then I went there just to check how it's gonna be, is it gonna be any fun? And kind of like with everyone, I went there because of uh, my friends. And then I noticed that I like it a lot, quickly fell in love with basketball and stick to it 16, 17, actually more than 20 years in basketball. So I started when I was 12. that you need to train like if you're training now and you think that's enough it's probably not enough honestly because this guy's your age even younger that's training twice three times as hard as you so i would say just practice every day and sometimes you're going to sacrifice other things if you want to be great at this sport and that's i think that's basically 
you want to be great at anything, you have to train and believe in yourself that you will be great. It's kind of cliche. Det är så det är så det är så tjukt. Så det är det en sida där jag gillar bara att träna träna mycket och för att göra det så kan det vara väldigt smart att goda vana. Och det är inte alltid du följer på det men om du måste bara äga vana dina så så hjälper det väldigt. För exempel om du skjuter en timme morgon två kanske tränger en uken. Så det är inte det så mycket i uken men att det varit år efter år så blir det måste det det gapet bli vara större och större för de som inte gör det. Så om du har goda vana så hjälper det. You really have to love it. That's if you are thinking about basketball only as a as a job, that's a bad thing. Like love is what keep you going, but you have to be really disciplined to have a great work habits to want to to be better than yourself. It's always battle and competing with yourself, not necessarily with opponents, but trying to be a better version of yourself every day. Me, no, honestly, I did not. Uh, I just love playing basketball, and I did it just because it was fun, and it still is fun. But I didn't probably, I probably didn't think that I would be pro until maybe the end of 2018. So three years ago, basically, that's when I figured like I might as well give it a shot. And uh, so far it's working out. I think when I was very young, it was the dream and the right side plan. But when it was a little older, it was a little more to find out if it was a good solution. Um, I stedet for bare at gjøre alt for at jeg skal det klare. Men, um, ja. Jeg tror ikke jeg har flere svar enn det. 